most of the Latin American countries are now democratic. They have pro-life laws in place because they are pro-life. The people and their democratically elected representatives have decided that's the way they want to run their country. They've decided they want to protect unborn children. And now you have this coalition of radical feminists and New York-based foundations and radical population controllers, some radical environmentalists going into these countries and trying to change the laws to allow abortion on demand, to try and change the laws to put in place massive sterilization and contraception campaigns. This isn't what the people of Latin America want. People in those countries don't welcome these things. But being poor, they're powerless to keep them out. And we have to understand, if, if we want America to be respected around the world, we should stop disrespecting local customs stop disrespecting local views in favor of preserving the sanctity of life. If we don't do this, uh, we become the ugly American. And we shouldn't be surprised when there are anti-American sentiments and even anti-American demonstrations in different Latin American countries. We claim to be in favor of democracy, and yet at the same time in places like Colombia and Peru, we're subverting, we're undermining democracy by trying to impose an abortion mentality on a country that is naturally and consistently pro-life. This is why we're helping Latin American countries to fight back through our Latin American initiative. The Latin America initiative was an idea that we at PRI had to educate Latin Americans about their rights with the help of Carlos Polo, who's our director of operations in Peru. A lot of times these Latin Americans are very pro-life and they are pretty intimately familiar with what goes on in their countries, but they're not really sure what Americans can or can't do in their countries. So our job is to tell them that and tell them exactly the kind of evidence that we need so that we can fight the abuses that are breaking U.S. laws. In the United States we have the Tiard Amendment and the kemp Cassin Amendment, both of which stipulate very specifically that we can't, as American taxpayers, support forced abortion or coercive activity of any kind overseas. donor and with the help of Carlos Polo we were able to gather 12 delegates from all different countries Argentina Peru Nicaragua Costa Rica bring them up to DC educate them with the most cutting-edge uh, political technology and tools so that we can effectively fight these abuses from Washington so basically if we can defund these organizations we've finished the job the job is already done I think there are some congressmen in the United States that are very, very concerned about Latin American poor women that are affected by the money of the American taxpayer. But we need more. We need more concern.